Hey everybody, happy Friday. We made it a whole week. Give yourself a pat on the back. Moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas and friends. We all made it. So for today, I have one of my favorite books, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Shel Silverstein is a poet and we learned about poets and poems. They use rhyming words or words that sound the same. So Shel Silverstein wrote this book it's not that long of a book, but it has lots of pages. And the illustrations or the drawings inside of the book are all in black and white, so they're really pretty. So I'm gonna make sure to hold the book up so you can see the illustrations. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. and swing from her branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. Look at where he's hiding. He's hiding behind the rock. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. Have you slept under a tree before? It's nice and cool under a tree because the branches and the leaves protect you from the sun. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Look at the boy now, he looks a little different. And the boy grew older. Look at, there's two pairs of feet there. There must be two people sitting by that tree. And look, there's two hearts carved into the tree now, not just one. I wonder whose name he added to the tree. And the tree was often alone. Then, one day, the boy came home to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play hide-and-go-seek in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples. Sell them in the city. Then you will have money, and you'll be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and said, Come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you can cut off my branches and build a house, then you'll be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? 
Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm so sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. So all the tree really wanted was to make the boy happy. And he, get, he took everything he could from the tree and the tree just kept giving and giving until she had nothing left. And in the end, they both were together and they were both very happy. See, you don't really need a lot to be happy. You just need your friends and your family. That's why I love this book. Anyways, I will see you guys later. And thanks for watching.